great to be with you on this Monday, and we're just rejoicing again at God's goodness here, and I trust that you're doing well. Today I'd like to look at a passage from Christ's life in Mark chapter 3. We often have a tendency to just look at things from a normal human standpoint. Um, though we are not secular, we're very much biblicist, and we are very much aware of the spiritual, our natural tendency is to view life just from a normal standpoint. But that can be dangerous because we can forget that there is indeed a spiritual battle and that there's more going on than we can see. We can get discouraged if we look at the negative things around us and see it only from a human standpoint, trying to figure out how can government change and how can these things be solved. We can get discouraged if we look at our own life just from a human standpoint. Now, we know God is working, and we know there's spiritual battle, but it is so uh, just such a tendency to look at things humanly. Well, today we see in Mark chapter 3, uh, the Lord speaking to his disciples and the, the great work that he was doing. And it's interesting, as he was... Uh, following through with his disciples and doing the work of the ministry, he was casting out demons as part of that. And we read in verse 11, And unclean spirits, when they saw him, fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. There is a spiritual battle. And this spiritual reality was unveiled by the Lord Jesus, because as he confronted demonic powers, as he was even in their presence, they had to acknowledge who he truly was. Uh, they were not at all fooled by the philosophies of man. They know reality. God is the creator. Jesus Christ is the second person of the Trinity, Trinity the creator God. And so they understood that. And so when they were confronted, they had to admit, thou art the son of God. I bring this up because we need to realize that, yes, there is a spiritual battle going on, but God is the victor. This is even prior to the cross. Jesus Christ is now in humanity, glorified humanity at the right hand of the Father, above all principality, power, might, and dominion. And the spiritual world knows that he's the Son of God, but now they are uh, clearly under the power of the one who is now connected to us, and we're one with him because of his finished work, and we have the indwelling Spirit of God in us. So just as they had to, during his ministry, acknowledge that he was the Son of God. Today, as we serve the Lord, we have the privilege of standing for him, having his power within us, and when we're walking with God, we can have victory over the spiritual powers. Now, we have to be very careful on that because this is something that we have no part in ourselves. It's just simply our taking a stand against the devil and doing what God wants us to do, we can see victory. But I want, just want to encourage you today. We're on the victory side. We're fighting from the victory side. And so we need to see things from a spiritual standpoint, but see it from a victorious standpoint. And if you do that, you'll stay encouraged day by day as you realize God's on the throne. He's already won the victory and he is working all things together for good to reach this world with the gospel.